Hi, welcome back all of you. Nana here and then we are going to begin with the sales order import now. We are going to begin with the sales order import. We'll now go there, share the screen. So I made one directory and then uploaded into the drive actually. So please all of you download the directory actually. I downloaded it, fine with that. I will now go to the one here. You go to the fusion order management. <clears throat> Once you go to the fusion order management. <clears throat> so there uh, you'll now go to the fusion order management documentation. I made one sales order import directory. Please download that. Fine. That has been uploaded there. Please download that. Now, fine. This, this has been done now only. Fine. I downloaded at 2.15 p.m. today. I downloaded it. So please download this one. Double click on it. So before you import, what you have to do is uh, we have to go and then see the sales order import details. Now, fine. There's a file which you have to fill up. <clears throat> so all of you, please uh, mute your mic now. <clears throat> Whenever you want to speak. So go to the sales order import details. Fine. That is the first file you have to do it now. Fine. Double click on it. And then we'll not do it. So we have to identify the data actually. So first of all, who is going to be the buying buying party? Now fine. Let me go on the open up my uh, login and then see now. Fine. So let me log in now. <clears throat> let me go on and create a sales order. <clears throat> fine. Click on it. I will go to the manage orders. And then let me get a new sales order. So click on create order. I'm creating it now. <clears throat> so go there. I will now put my customer over here. Now find P50. <clears throat> so we can even pick up the customer from here now. Fine. We can even put the customer here now. Fine. Customer, we are picking it up. And then we can populate on this place. Fine. This is a customer. And then the requisitioning business unit. Fine. Go there. So we can even take it from this place. Fine. This is a business unit. P50, uh, US business unit is the one. So I can take a copy and then paste it over here now. The legal entity, I will come to that. How to get the legal entity now? The product number, fine with that. So, the product number, when you go there, fine, you put P5001 on the tab, you'll be getting the product number. <clears throat> fine with that. You'll be getting it. So, I can even go home and then enter, then I can take a copy. Fine, the product number is copied. Fine, UAM is each. Fine, you can now see whatever is coming. Some, some instances will be having EA, some will be having EACH, whatever is there, you can put, put on this mobile. Order. And then the requesting organization, we know that P501, I put it. And then the address we had written, fine. This is a very complicated one. So for which what happens, there are four parts of the address. One, two, three, four, fine. The five parts, fine. So this address, I will tell you about how to pick it up. Fine. This address you have to pick it up. Fine. So and then we had to pick up this and this also. Party site ID for ship to and then site use ID for build to. Fine. So these two things also. Here. So we are going to say about how to pick up all the seven now. Fine. These seven, how to pick it up, I'm going to tell you. Now. <clears throat> so it'll go there. So in this place, what happens if you go there? So there is a SQL query for uh, uh, what happens at this seven. Now. For this seven, we have an SQL query through which what happens that we can very well find it out. Now. <clears throat> we'll go to the place. Find where. Open up the ship to build to SQL query. Fine. Double click on it. Ship to build to SQL query. Fine. That is the one. That is the document. Now. <clears throat> I'll again show you. Fine. Ship to build to SQL query on the sales order import directory. I have now opened it up. This is coming now. So go there. Now, what I will do is I will now go to the reports and analytics of the system. Now. So right click on the duplicate. <clears throat> right click on the duplicate. So let me go to the reports and analytics. Of I go to the tools now. Fine, go to the tools. <clears throat> I go to the tools. And then here, I will now go to what? Reports and analytics. Click on the reports and analytics and tools. So go to the tools and then go to the reports and analytics. <clears throat> so once we go there, there is a browse catalog which is coming on the right top. Fine. Click on the browse catalog. So click on the browse catalog on the right top. It will now go to the next page. So there, here, you click on the create. And then here, you go to what? Create, and then uh, we have to go to data model. Fine. Under the published reporting, under the create, under the published reporting, we have a data model. Fine. Click on the data model. <clears throat> so click on the data model. You know, click on the data model. <clears throat> go there. <clears throat> so we are now going to the data model. Fine. So here, on the left-hand side diagram, there is a plus symbol with a drop-down. Fine. Click on it. And then click on the SQL query. So click on it. Diagram, there is a plus, a drop down, you drop it down, and then click on the SQL query. Now I will not write a query fine with oh, a test. And then the data source is what? FSCM. Application DB FSCM is the data source. Right? A, application DB FSCM is one. It's a standard SQL. Fine, oh, I will not write the query. You are going to get the query. Fine, oh, I will not go to the place. Fine, oh, I will not take a copy. Control A, Control C. I will not paste it. So this query is going to bring in all the seven details which are required for this exercise. Fine. We need the seven details, fine. seven to 13, you need it. So all the seven details, we can get it from this query actually. Don't go there. So my customer is P50 underscore cust underscore one. So I will not make a change on this one, fine, this place, whatever. I will not go there. 
the customer <clears throat> is there fine i will not remove the vision customer <clears throat> remove it fine i will not put my customer over here fine it is a p50 fine underscore cust underscore one exactly fine as per the cap small you have to do it now fine and then only there is the only change you have to make on the query got it now fine only change you have to make it and then click on okay the query gets executed and then it will now give you all the seven details <clears throat> it will now give you all the seven details so so click on okay so you are pausing it fine we got the results actually the result has come now fine here as soon as the results come whatever you go to the go to the data and then go to the view and then go to the tree view table view data view and then table view now fine now the tree view is now coming fine you go to the table view now data view table view view it now so once when you do it what happens the first line is a ship to the second line is a build to actually then you go on then go to the last part of it now the last part it will now say you what is the address now fine i made a mistake while writing the address actually what line l u i n e i have written now so exactly take a copy and then populate on this place fine the address line 1 so line 2 and line 3 address 2 address 3 address 4 are blank so nothing is required fine these things are blank because i have not added anything city is new york fine capital n capital y fine the remaining are small fine exactly put it now fine exactly put the city and then the state is ny fine state is ny and then the pin code is 10020 and the pin code and then the country is us <clears throat> the country is us now fine so there is no other entry apart from that now <clears throat> so we got 1 2 3 4 5 five information we got from this place or is it clear can somebody say yes to me fine we are getting these yes. five information good yes. now two more informations are required fine these five are sufficient for import but certain uh, templates do not accept these five actually these five is not accepted by certain place in which case what happens we have to get these now fine you have to get these now i'll tell you we have to get <clears throat> you have to get what party site id for ship to and then site use id for build to we have to get it if certain uh, templates do not accept these five then we have to use only these two now remember right? because i worked on both uh, now this template is accepting it because i have got a older template it is accepting these five but now in the morning i downloaded the latest one on 23a it is not accepting this fine uh, sometimes it will happen so see it now uh, in a when in about a week's time you will be getting 23b actually when 23b will be coming to the market all the instances will be updated to 23b so other what happens you have to see which uh, which is which uh, which template okay fine if you have all the things then it will be easy for you <clears throat> so now you drag it to the left hand side now fine the results you drag it to the left hand side and so here you can see on the top now fine brother the first one is a ship to now fine the first one is a ship to so you can see party site ready for ship to fine take a copy of it now fine. take a copy of it to take off it fine brother to take off it and then go there here i will not put it fine so it doesn't accept fine with the apostrophe you paste it fine then only it will accept it apostrophe you paste it and then after site use id for build to fine the next line is a build to now fine you still drag down uh, go further 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 you will not see site use id for build to so the ship to you have to take it from the first line and then the build to site use id for build to you have to take it from the second line i take it from the second line take off it and then put down sir <clears throat> that's it fine data collection is complete now we have completed the data collection actually <clears throat> now we are going to import a sales order got it now fine we are going to import a sales order so uh, in the afternoon what happens i imported a sales order i had one issue now fine i had one issue fine let me close it now fine any doubts on the data uh, data collection actually collecting the data fine all the data collection good there is no doubt fine can somebody say yes to me that you understood it yes please sir very good very good <clears throat> Right. So the data collection is now complete. Right. We are now going to the data collection. Now uh, we are going to populate this on our Excel sheet actually. And in the morning I had a problem. I don't know how to do it. Now, fine. I will now ask you people. Now, fine. I will now close this. Fine. The reports and all this. I'm closing it. Go there. Go there. So close it. Fine. I will now come to the main one. Fine. Cancel. <clears throat> Cancel. <clears throat> and then go there. Go to this place here in the advanced. Fine. One zero one one is the order number now. Fine. One zero one one is the order number. Fine. Click on search now. Fine. it is a source order number what is this 1010 i think 1010 i think 1010 yeah it is a 1010 there is a source order number and then the source order number has now what happens is given me this sales order now fine this is 34 is the one thank you for it the 34 <coughs> it has got on now what happens it is not getting submitted we'll not see what is the problem now fine there is x problem fine it has got imported actually fine there is a problem here we have to address that problem also There is an X mark coming in now. Fine, go that. So who the what happens here? No, another create scheduling is giving a problem. That means what the scheduling is not proper actually. 
fine. Order promising cannot schedule the fulfillment bank boss. The sourcing for the item is not set up correctly, actually. <clears throat> uh, rather, the warehouse is missing, actually. If you go there, right here, order in this place, the warehouse is missing. In the supply area, the warehouse is missing, right? So I have to populate the warehouse, then only we can do it now. So that is a mistake, actually, right? So that is why it is in draft only. In a draft only, fine. So it has not gone further at all, fine. So, or otherwise, it is submitted actually. It is submitted, but the status is not started actually because of what happens. The workflow is unable to. So, we have to populate the warehouse. Remember, fine. Somewhere the warehouse is missing on the sheet, Excel sheet. So, please uh, tell me uh, where I have to populate the warehouse. Now, fine. It has got imported, but warehouse is missing. So, what I had to do is I had to go to create and then I had to what uh, create a revision, fine. Create a revision, and then afterwards I can populate the warehouse. <clears throat> So go there. So create a revision. So manually I'm doing it now. So a warning is coming. It's okay. Revision is now created. I go there. I will now populate the warehouse manually. Supply. I go there. And populate. So P50 is <clears throat> the one point child one. And then I will now submit it. This time it will now go. So that means what? It is getting submitted, but it is now failing on the workflow. Actually. You know, draft no the revision will now automatically take it to the draft actually. And then we have submitted it. And then now this time what happens? It will be going ahead of this. Okay. Now. Uh, okay, confirmation. The revised order has been sent for processing. Now, I will tell you about how to download the templates actually. Fine. Uh, the templates has been downloaded from docs.oracle.com. You can go to docs.oracle.com. You go to docs.oracle.com. <clears throat> so from there, what happens? You go there. You go to the cloud applications. So click on the cloud applications. You go to the docs.oracle.com. Click on the cloud application. In this place, go to the order management. Fine. You can even go to the procurement or inventory or whatever it is. Fine. Whichever is there, okay, you can go down. So click on the order management. I click on the order management. So once when you click on the order management, you have to choose the template which you want actually. Fine. Very soon 23B is going to come because now all the things are in 23A actually. If you go there and then have a look at it, fine. If you go to this place, uh, if you go there, so if you click on the name on the uh, top and then click on the, about this application, it's 23A only. So very soon it will now become 23B. So in this case, what happens? We had to download the 23B template. So I will not choose 23A. As of not so after having chosen this, you click on the all books on the left hand side. So click on the all books on the left hand side. <clears throat> so click on the all books on the left hand side. Come down, come down, come down. So in this place, what happens? You will now find <clears throat> the what happens? Implementation file based data imported there. Fine. So sometimes what happens? They will now keep this under a user guide or somewhere else, not under implementation. Fine. So you have to search. If it is not under implementation, you have to search where exactly the file based data import is kept. Actually. So click on the HTML of it. I click on the HTML. So file based input. So inventory we can do. We can do what happens. Uploading of this many activities. Actually. Maintenance we can do this many. Manufacturing can do this many. Order management I will now go to the import sales order. So click on the import sales orders. Fine. It has got thirteen sheets actually. Fine. You click on it. Fine. You click on it. And then it is now getting downloaded. It is now getting downloaded. So go there. Click on show all. So once the download is completed, I will now open it up. So there are 13 sheets are there. So there are 13 sheets are there. First sheet, try and go there, click on home. <clears throat> there are 13 sheets are there. So we have to fill up everything and then the remaining unwanted things you have to delete now. Fine, go there, click on it. I will now highlight everything and then delete now. Fine, all delete. So now it is not an edit mode. Fine. First of all, bring it to the edit mode. Fine, you cancel. So bring it to the edit mode. So once when you bring it to the edit mode, if you're giving a rose color icon like this now, fine, what do you have to do? I'll tell you. If you're getting a rose color account, that is not going into the edit mode. So go there. So what you have to do is, first of all, you'll now go there. <clears throat> we have to, what happens, unblock it actually. I will now go to the downloads now. Fine, go to the downloads. This is the one now. Fine. Right click and then go to the properties. Right click and then properties. And then unblock it. Fine, unblock it. And then click on apply and then click on OK. Now the rose color icon will not come at all. Fine, unblock it. Fine. Now if you open it up, fine, then the rose color icon will not come. <clears throat> So now there's no rose color icon on the top actually. Fine. It's not in the edit mode now. So I will not give a home now. Fine, go there. So let us say only one line I'm going to enter. The remaining lines you highlight it and then delete it now. <clears throat> fine, go there. So go down, go down, go down. And then here, what happens? You go there, Alt E D, fine, delete it. And then only one line you are entering it. Similarly, what happens? You'll do it now. So I'm now going to fill up data only on the first three sheets actually. Fine. The remaining sheets, let us say, order transaction attribute. Go there. So here they are saying that some is coming. Fine. I'm not deleted. Fine. On the sales credit, fine. if you have a credit, then you are doing now. And then order payments. Fine. Order payments. Fine. So if you have any payment interface, then you are doing now. And similarly, lot serials. If you have lot serial, you are entering now. And then go there. Now here, the document reference, not <coughs> reference interface. 
and then order. So they are all high level one. And then uh, if you wanted to do all these things, then only you do it. Otherwise, you delete everything. You delete everything on this one. So delete everything, and then it'll longer. So I have already deleted everything apart from the three, and then I already made my sheet. Close it. I'm not doing anything. Fine. This one I'm not doing it. So let me open up my sheet, my field sheet. My field sheet I'm going to open up. So let me go there. I will now go to the order SCM training. <clears throat> I will now go to fusion order management and then fusion order management documentation. And then I go to the sales order import. This is a new directory, remember? I've just uploaded it. Please download this directory totally and download it and open it up. And then we have already filled up the import details. The import details, fine. These seven information through reports on analytics we have filled up now. Is there any doubt on this now, fine? These seven details we have filled up. The remaining we know from, from some other place we have now got everything. Fine. These things from the reports on analytics we have filled up. Uh, the first two five are sufficient actually. Some templates, if it doesn't work on the five, we have to use these two. I'll tell you about how to do it now. <clears throat> now, having done this, we'll now go to the template. I will not sales order template. So I have already filled up this template. I'm not going to show it to you. Fine. Double click on it. So double click on it. And then this time, what happens? 1011, I will not make it as what? I will not go to the first tab region. Fine. Go there. So 1011, I will not make it as what? 1011. 1010, fine. 1011 is the order number. Is our order number fine? One zero one one is the source order number. We call them as a source order number. Fine. Somewhere warehouse is missing. Please tell me. Fine, go there. So go there. I'm now keeping the same uh, party name. Fine. Go there. I've already filled up. Fine. Go there. Fine. You can even enrich it with more information. Actually, whenever you feel like, first of all, succeed on the one whatever I done, and then afterwards enrich it with more information. <clears throat> go there. Go there. Go there. Go there. So go go go. <clears throat> if you find anywhere the warehouse, warehouse will not be coming in the header. Actually, oh header, it will be coming now. Oh, it will be coming only on the header, I think. <clears throat> Somewhere the header will be coming. So just, I'm not going slowly now. Fine. Watch it and then tell me now. If you find the warehouse, please tell me. Fine. It will be coming on the header only. Fine. Customer PO number, fine. With the transaction currency is USD, I have filled up. I know that. Filled up. Fine. Transaction date, I given 4 4 2003. Fine. Something I have done now. Fine. Go there. <clears throat> Requested buying business identifier. The business unit I have been given now. Go further. Go further. <clears throat> Requested. Fine. Go there. So I have not put a comment also, fine. <clears throat> I will not make it as what two now, fine. I don't know where this comment will come now, I don't know. I will not make it as two now, commit. Go there. <clears throat> and then requesting legal entity is there, and I've given it. Go there. Freeze pricing, all these things. Whatever is there, NNN, you can just give it, fine. There is no need to. You can even change and then see also, fine. All these things you can change. First, one, one exercise you do with the same thing, and then afterwards make a change and then see all the things. Go for that. Submit flag is this now. So this is now submitting the order, but it is failing because warehouse is not there in the header. And submit flag is yes now, but it is failing because warehouse is not there. So it is now giving a X mark there. Sales credit channel, sales channel, priority, primary. <clears throat> Nothing is there on the first one here. <laughs> it is not there. Thank you. So we'll you know, go to the second tab region. For second tab region, it's a big one. Second tab, second is a big one. Fine, go there. So on, sir, there will be hidden fields or hidden columns. No, no, hidden will be there, but uh, normally by blank one, whatever you can now see, ABCD, everything will be coming, I think. Probably, maybe. Fine, you can try. Fine, if you find it out, please tell me now. Fine, 1011. If anything is hidden, whatever you tell me. I know, change it to what? 1011 is my source order number. I've changed it. In the header also, it is 1011. It is 1011, 1011. Two places we are putting it. And then here also, we have second sheet also, we are saying the, changing the source order number. This is called the source order number. It's okay. It's okay. <clears throat> it's okay. Now the product I have taken it from the Excel sheet. Now, fine. From my Excel sheet, I have taken up. Fine. This is a product. Fine. This is a product number. So I already populated it. Fine. Populated. It. Go there. Click on it. Fine. In sub eleven quantities, I will not see fifty one quantities. I will not change it to fifty one quantities. Each is the unit parameter. EACH is used in this instance. If it is used as EA, you have to put only EA. Now, fine. Whatever unit parameter is used. Now, fine. I will not give a commit. Go for that. <clears throat> Requested fulfillment organization name. One second. There are two star marks are there. So here we have to give it a fine. I will not, uh, this is the only thing which is missing, I think. Fine, this is the one. Yeah. Requested fulfillment organization code. Fine, I will not say P501. Yeah, this is the one which has now given this problem. One second. I'm going to go there. The P501, the code I have given. Yeah, I think this is the one. So because of which it has not got submitted actually. Yeah. So this is the place where I have misdirected. So double star, double star means what? One of them is a mandatory one. Yeah, this is a mistake. Actually. Okay, fine. Go there. So uh, the business unit identifier is not required because the double star, double star, this is more than sufficient. Now, fine. On the two red is sufficient. And then on the three yellow, fine, go there. So requesting business unit identifier and then requesting business unit name is required. Okay, fine, out of two. And 
name of the organization that is requesting the item in the source order line. No, fine, I will not put this also fine because all of the two ones required. I will not go there. <clears throat> I will not take off the business unit. So take off it. But all mistake, but it has uh, taken it actually. <clears throat> fine, requesting business unit name is missing, but it has taken it actually. <clears throat> It has taken it nothing that it has taken it fine request because out of the two stars, yellow stars is the quite number. Go for that, go for that, go for that, uh, go for that. I think I have corrected the problem. Fine, it is not put you the, no, no, that was requesting business unit. You have already given the selling business unit, right? So that should Will, be different. Is required or not? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, red maybe. one is the 50 50. Uh, maybe we will not maybe. see fine. whether it fails yeah. or not. Fine. There is a selling and then requesting, maybe same actually. If they're different, then we have to populate. Right? Maybe. If they're different, we have to anyhow. I'm not putting it, I'm not putting the same. Let's see whether it succeeds or not. It is a superfluous information only if it is a it would be same actually, maybe. <clears throat> there are some writings we had to see now. Fine. The ratings, it will not tell you what exactly they yeah. are. Probably yeah, it's a to see whether it, it, it passes through or not. So the requested ship date is what 4423 okay, that I have given. Go that to schedule eleven date. So many fields are there. Fine, I give the payment terms. Fine, it is. It is going to be either order or return. Fine, we can even choose order. No fine, order is chosen. No fine, no fine. And then the remaining I have not filled up. You can even enrich it with more information. Actually, inventory organization code is what five zero one. Fine, P five zero one is the one. It's okay. <clears throat> it's all done now. Fine, we'll go for that. Go for that. Fine, uh, so in the price, I am not giving anything at all. Fine, that. So whereas what I'm I will be giving it, uh, I've given it somewhere else, I think. In the price. I've given an amount actually. Fine. The extended amount I have given, I think. <clears throat> Why I'm not given the price at all here? Ah, <clears throat> uh, I have not given the price. 51 is there. Mm, unit price is one, and then I will not give one here. Needed. Okay, fine. Good. That maybe we'll not see on this place whether the price is coming or not. Fine, in this place. What happens if you go to the manager orders, nothing like that. So the price is coming or not? Fine, the quant. Oh, I think, yeah, sale price is 10. Oh, it has taken it from the uh, systems one, I think, probably. I don't know where exactly it's taken. It. Actually, you mentioned freeze price as uh, no in the header sheet. Uh -huh. uh, say yes, then it will honor the uh, list uh, price. And maybe, maybe, fine. So I'm now giving a list price, unit list price, and then what is unit selling price? I don't understand what is this difference between now. Yeah, there's a difference. No, no. I mean, if you want to include discount, then selling uh -huh. and, and this will be honored uh, uh -huh. if you pass it. Otherwise, system will calculate from uh, it will calculate from system. That's what it did last time. Uh -huh. So it is not mandatory. It okay. calculated from whatever is in the price list of the okay. items. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So the whatever is there, the price is no cal calculating that. Okay, it's okay. For that. So it's what I'm saying. It's okay, correct. No, give this one. Now I given a one. Now fine. We'll not see whether the, this supersedes the ten or not. Fine. So I have not given here one now. So one has been given now. I'll go for that, go for that. No, no, one is now given, you'll not see that it supersedes or not. And so are you giving pricing pricing information also? That's what I mean. I've given a less price, no? Like a strategy and all. No, no, no. That maybe it no. will be there somewhere. I don't know oh. where, where they give now. Right? You just make an RD. So many fields are there. You only have to make an RD. First of all, you make it successful and then afterwards make an RD on this, right? The strategy and other things, you just make an RD. Three because once when you put a customer, the strategy and segment comes automatically. I don't think uh, during import, it will be giving it out. I'm not sure about it. Just make a check. So many things are there. I'm not sure. Uh, those columns, so when the order is imported, it calls the pricing image. Uh -huh. Sirisha's mic is always a problem, actually. He is saying something. We are unable to fully understand it. Actually. Sirisha, you please correct your mic, actually. So I have not filled up any other thing. Fine, go there. I will not give a home now. Fine. The second average is now completed. Fine. We have added whatever the some things now. Fine. Unit trace we added, and then uh, somewhere the business unit is also added. Fine. The in the requesting org is also added. We will not go to the third average. We'll not go to third average. So third average, first is a ship to the second is a bill to now. Fine. Go there. I go there. Want. I'm not giving it. Fine. The first is a ship to. <clears throat> fine. Go there. Go there. Ship to. Fine. Go there. So the, uh, here we have to fill up the party name only with the ship to now. Fine. Go there. Go there. So here <coughs> we have to fill up the what I'm as a customer name only to the build to fine. We have not filled up these two things now. Fine. So out of all the these two are the green, 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 or which one is filled, and then this uh, pink colors one is filled actually. Go for that. Go for that. Go for that. This is not required now. So here the party side okay. identifier and then the account side identifier is coming. Fine. So here 
uh, what do you do with the parties identifier? Whatever you're taking up, you take it up. Right? This is the one. You take a copy of the parties identifier right? that will come out of the uh, one. Fine, that. So I will not paste it over here. Now, fine, click on it. And then in the accounts identifier, you take the second one and then do it now. Second one, you do it. And then paste it. So this is required if these five are not accepted, actually. One, two, three, four, five. If it is not accepting it, then these two are required. Fine. One of them will definitely work. So I'll go there. Further, what happens? You go there. In this place, what happens? I have not given the address line one. Fine. I have not made a spelling mistake in my entry now. Fine. Uh, because while creating the custom itself, I never did. Fine. So address line one, the city, the postal code, the state, and then what happens? The country. Only this much I have entered now. The, the county I have not entered. The province I have not entered. So it's not there. So these five informations I have not picked up from the uh, uh, reports and analytics. Fine. Go there. So these informations have been kept over them. So I am not going to give this to my So sometimes it accepts this. Sometimes it accepts the identifier actually. Right. So whichever is okay, you do it now. I am not removing it. So removing it. And that's it. My sheet is ready. This also what happens? It has made as what one zero one one. The source order number. I am changing it now. Fine. One zero one one is the one. Fine. Come in. The source order number. It is for fifty one qualities. With the unit trace of one, and then the, this thing is also given. And everything is now completed. The remaining tab regions, I have removed everything now. I go on there. I have deleted everything. I deleted everything. All no, no, sir. Source transaction identifier is OPS. Why, sir? OPS is the one which we are using it actually. We are using only OPS. We are only OPS. Okay, sir. OPS is the one. And that is the one which is being used by order management actually. So go to the place, my point. So you, yeah. you can define new source. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you know Oracle Integration Cloud, you can even define your new. Fine. Everything can be done. Fine. That is not our exercise, actually. Fine. Well, a few order management uses OPS, actually. So uh, now, sir, uh, what if we have, if, if, what if we are importing two orders? For yeah, yeah. Multiple lines can be done. Not only one line. Multiple lines can be kept over. So the differentiation would be source transaction. Order number. Fine. This is the order number. So every line will be having a different order number. And then the third tab region for every order number, you will be having one build to one ship to. Fine. One build to one, one ship to, and then one build to for each and every order. Mm -hmm. There will be two lines on the third tab region, actually. Mm -hmm. Unique identifier is then source transaction identifier. In all yeah, the yeah, 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 yeah. This is also known as a source order number, actually. Source order. Okay. This is also known as a source order number. Okay, fine. Good. So everything is complete. Any other questions on the on the template now? Good. No questions. Fine. We'll not go there. We'll now create our this thing now. Fine. One zero one one the one. Fine. Go there. Click on generate CSV file. So on the main first one, what happens? I'm not generating the CSV file. So before generating it, you please save it now. Fine. You save it, and then afterwards you should not save now. Fine. So orders. They go there. So I will now go to the J. <clears throat> go there. So I will now open up my Oracle SCM training. I will now open up my Fusion order management. I will now go to the order management document. I will now open up the sales order import, and then here I will now say the import point import. Fine, one zero one one. Fine, I'm now keeping the same numbers now. Fine, one zero one one. Fine, import. Fine, one zero one one is my source order number. I'm saving it. Now. Okay, it is now done. Fine, go there. So go there. So accept the message. Fine, the message is there. Fine, click on okay, and then close it without save now. Close it. Don't save it now. Fine, don't save it. Now we'll now go there. Go to the system now, and then we'll now import it. Now. Fine, go there. So I'll now go there. Right click on the duplicate. <clears throat> we'll now what happens? They bring it into the base tables. Bring it to the interface tables now. So far. So go there, click on it. I will now go to the what's called <laughs> your uh, uh, monitor process, and then I will now bring it, bring it to the interface tables. So click on the schedule new order, schedule new process, and go there. Go there. Is what the load interface tables for? Load interface tables. So load interface file for import. I'm going to it. So with which what happens? I'm going to bring it to the what happens? The interface tables. And drop down the import process. It is import sales orders. Drop it down, and then make a search, and then go for the import sales order. And click on search. Nana sir, yeah. Do we need any uh, specific role for to import process or like? I, think I don't know. I'm not a uh, role wise. I don't know fine, whether we need any specific role or not. Okay. Uh -huh. Now this will not search at all because I and S are capital. If you give a search, this is a Baker search. Right? It should not be case sensitive actually. If you put capitalist is coming. You know, it's a little bad. A search should not be case sensitive. Fine, right? there's no case sensitive. Fine, choose it now. This is the one. And then this is for the high volume. I never done it. Fine. High volume is the one. Is the high volume. I will not choose the import sales orders. Fine. In this area, I'm going to park now. Fine. Click on it. I'm not uh, aware of the rules which is required for an import actually. And click on the upload new phone. Anyway, anybody who is aware of it, fine. click on choose file. I will not choose the file. I will not go there. I will not Oracle SCM training. 
I will not go to the fusion order management. I will not go to the fusion order management documentation. Open up the sales order import. Mm -hmm. A fusion order management documentation. So go there. Where is the sales, sales order import? Sales order import is the one time. Go there. I will not open up my import 1011. So click on OK. And that's great. So since we have uh, filled up only three sheets, only those three sheets will be imported. If you have done more sheets, then everything will be imported. So only three sheets we have filled up. The remaining we have deleted everything. So load file for interface for viable is the running of Click on it. The running. <clears throat> so only three sheets will be in, in, will be brought in. So load file for interface only for three sheets is running actually. So one is running and the main one is passed actually. Fine. Click on it. So let us not wait for everything to complete. So everything is completed. So all of them are completed. So now the data has come into the interface tables of order management. Now let us not bring it to the base table. Fine. Click on the schedule process. We'll not bring it to the interface. So go there. It's called import sales order. Okay. Here it is accepting small now. There it is not accepting it. So go there. Import. This is a high volume. Fine. I'm not choosing the normal one. Now. Import sales order. Fine. Click on OK now. <clears throat> so click on OK. Go there. So here the source system is what? This my source order number is what? 1011. Fine. This is also known as a source order number. Now. Go there. I will not make all statuses. Fine. So this is yes. And order interface status is all statuses. Fine. I give the source system as what? Oracle fusion, order orchestration, and planning. That is what I'm saying. So here the source order number is 1011. I'm going to bring it up. Click on submit. So it will not bring it to the base table. Thank you for that. So now the import sales order is now running. So it will not spawn a child process. A sub process will be spawned actually. It will be spawning it. I go that. So it's not running. Ready? <clears throat> I can see that it has not spawned a sub process. So it is not running now. No, no, sir. If that the sheet had multiple order number or lines, only one order will be imported. Yeah, then in that case 1011, you should not spell it off. Yeah. No, even if I specify only one order will be imported. I don't know. Maybe all the lines put together, maybe in one. I'm not very sure what it you no, 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 I, I don't know. No, no, but in EBS we can just import one at a time, right? I mean oh, oh, oh. but his question is good, but I don't know the answer actually. Fine. If there are multiple order numbers, whether you have to put one zero one one or not, that is his question actually. But yeah, but source only point. should be source only should be there. Oh uh, yeah, only source. There's an order orchestration. Only source. Yeah. yeah. Only order orchestration planning has to be given. The other should not be given. Am I correct? Yeah. Yeah. Source, then order number no need to be shown. No need to give. Then it will not import everything. Okay, fine. That's what is. You make a try. Fine. Try it. Now this has succeeded now. Fine. Click on it. It will not have a look at it. Now. Fine. Import sub the sub process is completed. You now go there. Click on that. What happens? The output now. Fine. The log output. I'm going to click on it. I will not click on it. Now coming now. Fine. So let us know have a look at it. Fine. Click on show all <clears throat> and then click on the log now. Fine. Click on the log. Click on the log. So the log is saying, like the fine, let us know. Take a copy of it and then put in a word file now. Fine. Put it. Ah, what is it? Where is the word file? <clears throat> I will now close the download. You know, minimize everything. <clears throat> ah, this is what we just copy. So close it. I will now go to the word file. <clears throat> So let me open up one more bit. So this one, uh, the query, you don't not even, this has been given by one of my technical guy actually. So for de de delaying all the seven data, he says that this query will not do it now. Fine. Please don't modify anything. Only the customer name, you have to modify now. Fine. The mission customer, you have to modify it. Nothing else. Fine. Don't do anything at all. So that what happens, you'll be able to get all the seven data in one go actually. These seven data can be obtained in one go. <clears throat> go there. File, and then I will now go for new now. Fine. I will now paste it now. I will not do it. So I will have to go to a word file and open the word file, file new. <clears throat> so this is the output of the file now. Number of orders that were imported is one. Fine, go there. You know, saying uh, import source order number is 35 actually. Fine, orders. So 1011 is our source order number, but our sales order number is 35 actually. With our source order number is 1011. Fine, with no errors. So number of orders, fine, go okay. And then it will also purge actually. Fine, we are now given a purge also as on. So the remaining are also getting purged actually. Right. So 1011 source order number has got a sales order number of 35. Let us now see whether it doesn't fail on the uh, what happens your scheduling action. We'll not go to the place, fine. We'll not go to the place. We will not go to the what's called go there. Fine, click on done now. <clears throat> so click on done. <clears throat> and then I will not go to the advanced and then query on my source order number now. 1011. Fine, give it error. I'm going to query. Fine, click on search. 35 is the sales order number now. So I will now click on the 35 sales order number. This is a source order number. This is a sales order number. If I click on it, I then go inside. 
If I go there, it is processing, and then what happens? There is no X mark at all. We will not see the price. We will not see the price. We'll go this place. My God. Uh, the sale price is again coming as 10 year. Fine, it's not coming at all. Yeah, I see. I have one. Not fine. That is not sensing it actually. So no, no, no. I think he was saying that I will about calculate price flag. Probably we'll have to pass it. Oh, oh, yes. oh, 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 oh. Yeah, I mean, you no, all no. the already fine. You're not picking up from correct, my correct. price actually. From my okay. all items price is we, not coming up. Fine. Because calculate price flag is yes. So uh -huh. it again went into system and calculated. So I think that's what Prasad Gumala was trying to speak. Okay. I think good, that, good, good, yeah, good. Fine. Okay. good actions and then go to switch to fulfillment. You fine for that. Do it. And then go to the fulfillment lines. Go to the placement. So click on it and then click on it. It would have gone to abetting shipping. Right? No, gone to abetting. Good, good, good. So the warehouse was missing. That is why it was uh, got stuck on the scheduling. That is number one. So this completes the sales order important. And again, telling you in the morning, when I did it, it failed actually. I did only this file. Why it failed? I, I downloaded the 23A template and then I filled up this file. So one of my students told me that whether this will work or in some templates, these two will work actually. Fine. So you make an RD on this one. So which is working properly. Sir, now you have not given those two IDs, but you yeah, filled yeah. that organization code. That's all I'm saying, fine. I filled up only these five. It worked fine. So either these five or these two, the party identifier and site identifier has to be given. One of them is sufficient actually. Fine. Either this five or these two is sufficient. Now in the order header, could you please see that, sir, what is the warehouse? No, it's coming. It would have been there. Fine. Because it's already scheduled now, fine. It will definitely be there. Because we have, we have populated it. I made a mistake there. So that is already done. So you will not get definitely the barrels. So go to this place and click on this place. The barrels will be there. You go there. If you go to this place, the barrels will be there. Oh God, it is still not there. But it has scheduled it actually. <laughs> the general, what happens in the supply? Probably somewhere the header I have filled missed up. On the line level, I put the order, uh, order barrels. Okay. The second tab region only I put the barrels. On the first tab region, I have not put the barrels. Got it now? So somewhere we yes, had to put sir. the orders also, fine. In the first tab region, had I put the warehouse, it will be coming. But the second tab region, I put the warehouse, and so it has passed. So make an RD. So make an RD with a lot of inputs and other things. No, no, question. Yeah. So there is concept of transformation, right, between source order and before bring. Where is that? Like at what stage we do some transformation rules and all? Transformation rules are different, actually. Fine. Okay. Uh, no, no, no. That is not coming under the import, actually. It is not for you. Okay. Transformation rules are different. That I don't know. That is all technical. Actually. Oh, no. They say like when we import the data from source, you can do some changes in while. Okay. Yeah, yeah. While that is uh, not coming under the FBDA import. Actually. That is a different topic altogether. Fine. Transformation rules, I don't know. Fine. It's again technical. Actually. Okay. So this completes your order import. No, sales order import is not complete. Now, we will not go to the price list import. No. Price list import is relatively easy actually. Okay, we will not go to the price list import. So, any questions on the sales order import? You make an RD and then populate different fields and then see how it's all coming. Fine. List price is not coming, whatever we have written. Fine. Make the calculated price, all these things. You make a check now. Fine. And do it. Now, we will not go to the price list. No, fine. We will not go to the price. price list. is relatively easy actually. I will not go there. I will not go to what? I don't go to the order management. I go to the pricing administration. I click on the pricing administration here. Whatever they go there. So I will not go to the price list and then let us not create a new price list. Now I click on the manage process. Okay. So I will not click on plus. Now let me get a new price list. Go there. So the price is what? P50 underscore PL underscore 2. No? Fine. These are the prices I'm creating now. P50 underscore PL2. Fine. I'm not going to get a new price list. I take off it and put the description. Let's paste it. So go there. Is the currency is US dollars. Fine. Go there. This is what sale price, fine line is by. buy. <clears throat> so business unit is P50. P50 and then give it app. Hey, you are able to see the uh, recording icon, na? because I am unable to see it here. No? Fine. It's not visible in my system. No? <clears throat> recording icon is there? Anybody? Yes. Yes, sir. Yes. Sir. yes. Okay, okay. So click on OK now. Start it again. So save and edit. The price is now getting created. P50 underscore PL underscore 2. Fine. Click on save and edit. Go there. I will not go to the access center and give a common no fine. Got it. So click on plus no fine. I'm going to give a common. <clears throat> See you, M -M, and then give it a no. Common doesn't know. So give a save no fine. Click on save and then I will not approve it. So click on approve. I am now approving it. Okay, no, it will not approve. <clears throat> it's not done. 
So it is not approved actually. <clears throat> so before I go further, uh, Sripath will always ask, no, and I will not do that. No, fine. <laughs> Price, drive.google.com. Let me upload the latest Excel sheet actually, fine. <laughs> because I modified, no, fine. So let me upload the latest Excel sheet into the system, no, fine. Brother. I will not go to this place. Fine, brother. I will not go to the documentation. Fine. I will not go to the documentation. I will not open up my order management. I will not go to the fusion order management documentation. Go there. Again, fusion order management documentation. So here I will now open up the sales order import. Now find sales order import. So let me upload my latest Excel sheet now. Fine. I modified it. Go there. So go there. I will not say sales order import template. Now fine. I will not delete it. I will not upload it. Now fine. Click on file upload. So he will say. You know, so go there. So this is the latest one now. Fine. Go there. At 601, I have modified the file order. So, whatever I have modified, you will also be getting it. Now. Same thing. Got it now, fine. Sripati? Thank you, sir. Okay. <laughs> I uploaded it in the place now, fine. So, you can use this. For vision import, you can use this data. Some data has been there. Everything is there. It's not done. So, I uploaded the latest one on this one. So, click on it. So, now what happens? I have now created that. This is not fine. So, the prices is now created. It is approved also. Fine. We approved it. I approved it now. I think I did, I did now. So click on yes, sir. Approve. Fine. Click on save across. Now, so P50 underscore PL underscore 2 is ready. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to upload the price list order. <clears throat> so come to the main screen and then go to actions and then download the spreadsheet. <coughs> On the manage price list, you go to action <coughs> and then download it. Fine. Download the spreadsheet. I'm going to download the spreadsheet. The spreadsheet is now getting downloaded. Fine. Go to the show order. So let me open it up. Let me open it up. So I'm now opening up the prices. I'm now opening it up. In the Excel sheet, I'm opening it up. So I will now close the other one. So this one, let me close it. I'm not closing it. Don't say. So click on enable editing. So I'm now going to enable editing. It will now ask you to log in. I have to log in. If I click on this. So let us now put a username and password and then log in. If I click on this. I will now put my username and password. So P50 underscore. What happens? EMP. One one. So all of you can work on this login now. Fine. I'm not going to give it to you. Fine. The password is Rama8073. Please note it down. So go there. Rama8073 capital R. Fine. Rama8073. I'm not noting. So you can also use this instance now fine. for non-GOP activities. GOP license is not there. For non-GOP, you can very well work on. So click on it. Now it is now going to populate everything. Fine. Another is okay. Fine. Go there. Some error come now. <clears throat> What happened? Ah, it has come. Okay, fine. So here I have filled up one sheet also. Fine. Let me open up my filled sheet actually. I have a prices import now. Fine. This one. The sales order import. We have a prices import. Fine. Double click on it. And then let me open up my filled one now. Fine. It is underscore one. So this is what manage prices nine actually. Fine. Let me open up this. Fine. Open it up. Open it up. Fine. That sheet. I'm opening it up. So then I'm not going to connect now. Fine. I will not say no to it. I'm not going to connect it. So this is a filled one now. Fine. The manage prices underscore one is one, fine. So I will know what happens. Go there, go to the home, and then I will not do everything. Fine, the same thing. So the price is name. I'm going to give it. Fine, I will not tab it. And price is what P50 underscore PL underscore two. No, fine, what is? I will not go there. Click on it. I will not afterward the business unit has to be put. No, fine. So I will not take up the copy from the business unit from this place. No, fine, on it. I will not go there. So let me take up the copy of the business unit. Fine, go there. I will not open up my where is the here? Uh, details. Fine, this is the one. So the details pipe. I will not take up. So the business unit name is this now. Fine. Take copy of it. I will not put it on this one. I will not put on the business unit. <clears throat> so item level. I will not see what I have written there now. Fine. Item level. So item level is what? New price now. Fine. Uh, item level. Where is it? Yeah. Item level is item action. The price is business unit. Item level is item now. Fine. So it will not drop down. Item level. <clears throat> item level. Fine. Drop it down. So it is item. All item. Item, item price now. Go that and then I will have to put my item over there. No, fine. So let me take it up from the Excel sheet. No, fine. This is my item. So I will not put up this item. I will not populate on this now. Where is the mine? This is the one. I will not put the item over here. No, fine. Copy it. The component path. I will not see what exactly. So the component path is fine. Next is line type is by the pricing units. Are the EA, no, fine. So the line type is what? By. Fine. Drop it on and then choose the by. So the pricing units are what? Capital EACH in my system, it is ESCH actually. Go there. Go there. And then first the primary units of the yes now. Fine. Go there. So it is yes actually. Yes. And then you would have. And then here. Yeah, all these things you can very well do. Fine. You can make a modification. Fine. Say the pricing charge definition, the sale price. No, fine. I will drop down and choose the sale price. 
what else? Pricing P dot is defined. This is what price now. Fine, right? I will not go there. So calculation method is price, right? cost. All these things will be coming. Fine, go there. So click on it. I will not put the price over here. I will not say 1.23. Some price I am putting in. Fine, go there. Start date. Fine. Start date is today's date. Now, fine. Click on the start date. <clears throat> it's coming. Fine. I will not put today's date. Now, fine, Afterwards, what happens? The start date is not on. Fine, go there. Allow manual adjustment is no now. Fine, go there. Allow manual adjustment. I will not say yes now. Fine. So we can even very well add, allow the manual adjustments on this. Yeah. So allow manual adjustment is yes, no, fine, go there. Afterwards, what happens? Go further, no, fine, go there. Allow manual adjustment. Currency is USD. Afterwards, only currency, fine, go there, quantity. I will not put the currency is USD. Fine, USD is the one, fine, go there, quantity. I will not put go there. Afterwards, what happens? Nothing is there. And then sales product type is goods. Like that. Go further, go further. <sighs> so action type was added there in that. Oh, oh, oh. oh. Uh, action type is add actually. Okay. Action type, where is that? Yeah. Two columns. Add, add, yeah. Action type is add. No fine. Action type is add. And then afterwards, what are the next one? No fine. Action type is add. And then sales product type. Go there. Click on the sales product type is what? Go there. Drop it on. I will now say, what are I given? No fine. Goods. Yeah. Sales product type is goods. And then leave the key as it. That's it. Fine. So we have filled up. And then uh, when people are doing it, what happens? Uh, they are saying that. Please do not populate more than 5,000 lines actually. Right? So they will not take a copy of it. Right? I'll not give a save. No, right? Click on commit. No, 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 sir. Right? What is the meaning of last field? Key. I don't know. Right? Key, I don't know what exactly is meant. And key is there. I don't know what exactly is. Every line may be having a separate key. So my students, what they say is that they will not take a copy of it. And then they will not paste multiple things right? on this place. They will not paste it. And then what happens is they will have an Excel sheet from the customer. Room. From that one, what happens is they will not populate all the item. And then they will not populate all the prices. Fine. Only these two fields, they normally do it. Otherwise, what happens? They don't do anything at all. So if they go beyond 5,000 lines on one sheet, it is now giving problem. Fine. Some performance issues are coming. That's what they told me. Fine. Don't go beyond 5,000 lines. That is what they told me. Fine. So you can also restrict it to 5,000 lines. So they will have an Excel sheet. The Excel sheet will have around, say, 10,000 or 15,000 items also will be there on the basis. So they will now copy it. Fine. First of all, line copy. And then copy only the item and then the price. Got it now. Fine. That way, they will do it. Good, fine. It's not done. Fine. Come in. Now, what you have to do is after having populated the sheet, you go to the maintain price list, fine, go there, and then click on what create or update. Fine. Click on create or update. So it's not processing it, processing it, upload changes, fine, go there's no processing it. It's all complete. Let us not go there and check on this. Fine, go there. We'll not go to the place, fine, go there. So or go there. We'll not go to our manage price list, no fine, go there. So let us not open up the prices, fine, go there. We'll not make a search, no fine, click on search, and then we'll not see whether the item is there or not. So it starts on P50, find underscore PL, and then make a search. No, thank you. On search, sorry. So it's a P50 underscore PL. And then I click on search. It will be coming. Fine. So you click on the hyperlink of it, and then I will not query for the item. Item is what? Uh, the item I'm going to query. No, thank you. On it. I will not query for the item. The item is what? P5001. I will not query. Then the item. 1.23 is the price we are given. Click on search. No coming. The item. Comment. And then we got the price. So importing the prices is relatively easy when compared to the sales order import. Actually. This was a, this was WebID. I can WebID also I can use. WebID also if you know WebID, you can also do it. Got it? Any doubts on the price this import as well as the sales order import now? Very easy actually. So use my sheets and then do it now. And then you can even modify it. I don't say that you have to do only as no, no, sir. In case of in case of sales order, you had to load that file and then uh, yeah. Run the import yeah, here it is that. a simple one now. Fine. So, so they should is... have made one such thing for uh, sales orders also. <laughs> and they made it to be easy actually. Now, right? So for sales orders, a big one actually. So this one is web ADI and that one was a normal load, right? Uh -huh. This is known as a web ID, web ADI, yeah. Yeah, 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 no, no. This is Web ADI. So because in Excel upload download is Web ADI. Uh -huh. If you run through interface, that is the actual. ADA, no? Okay, okay. So mm -hmm. this is known as a Web ADI. Okay, fine, good. They are learning it now. So we have completed the sales order import as well as the price import. Any doubts? Anybody has got? You made it. Made it so easy, sir. <laughs> okay. Good. Fine. New, you make an R and D on the sales order. Now. Fine. So many fields you populate here and there, and then see if those two fields, fine, those five fields doesn't work, those two fields will definitely work. That is what my student told me. 
my student told me that sir if those five are not working then you put that site right party identifier and site identifier it will definitely work that's what he said so you make all the orders when which template will work for what because very soon you'll be landing up on a 23b template actually because now it's 23a so already from april onwards 23b is coming fine we'll now see about how exactly it is coming now nana sir yeah is there any difference between the web ada and the adfda here also we have this now fine one second here also we have this the price list also can be imported via fbda now fine fbda is having it now thank you monet we have the fbda also fine with that import says orders here also what are the price list is there fine fbda is there but web ada is so easy my student told me sir this is very complex now fine so don't go via this but go via that one fine not that one so that web ada i i am no knowing the name only now no <laughs> so this is very complex actually so don't import via this he only told me that we are all doing only from that place only the web ada only another no, where did you get that file from which link ah uh, that file fine it's already available now fine no you download from the ah, price yeah, price yeah, yeah. yeah pricing so you yeah, define yeah. and you download it yeah yeah, yeah. i have no problem so i will not go to this place fine to connect uh if you go to the price is nothing of that so here what am i you cancel now fine i will not give a cancel actions and then i downloaded it this is the one okay uh, okay and then i have already had a field template so i used it and then i now copied it fine i already have one field up on, on the prices import i have filled up fine that one i have saved it over here now fine for my reference actually but you need not have to follow all these things fine there's only for initial stages but afterwards you will not play around now it's, so this is not the web ada no no sir do we have same thing for uh, sales order it is not there if you go to you told me no no, no sales, sales order is not there no web ada is available or this sort of a thing is not available for the sales order at all oh okay. you only have to go via fbda only got it now fine only via fbda you have to go to greedy yeah. hmm to greedy maybe you are to greedy <laughs> <laughs> they are not giving it now fine <laughs> Maybe uh, they will all be coming soon now. And, uh, who mentioned it as web ADA, sir? Somebody told me that uh, whatever I done the prices is no. called web ADA. No, I, no, I, said, said, uh, okay. I said. Muhammad Alam has told no. No, web ADA is thing is in uh, my web. My understanding is wrong. Web ADA is in EBS. Here it is ADFDI. I think. Oh, right? okay. You are saying the name, yeah, but the concept is same, right? You yeah, concept is same. Yeah, EBS okay. it is called web ADA yeah. and here in fusion it is ADFDI. Oh, that's what I. That's what yeah. ADFDI. Okay, okay. Actually, that's what I am asking, sir. Oh. Mm. So it is called ADFDI. Okay, man. Okay, yeah. Yeah. So we did it via ADFDI. Okay, but not web ADA. Good. So we'll not go for a break and then we'll not continue on the pricing actually. Fine. We'll not go for a break. So it is now six twenty-five by six. Uh, uh, what happens? I will not take only small time. Fine. Six thirty-five. I will be back actually. Six thirty-five p.m. India. I will be back. Fine. I will be back by six thirty-five p.m. India now. We'll not go there. We'll not make one of them as well. Co-host. Fine. Please don't leave. Fine. I will not come back by six thirty-five p.m.